Ah, come in, come in. So I see you have found your way to my little cottage deep in the woods. Are you lost? Or have you come here with purpose? You have a purpose. I see it in your eyes, in the expression on your face. You have a purpose in seeking me out. And now I see in your smile that I am right. What is it that you seek? What do you ask of me? Come on, don't be shy. Tell me what it is you want. What is it that your heart desires? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A love potion, you say. A love spell. These things are tricky. You understand that. Love is not something to be toyed with. It is not easily created. And once it is created, it is not easily done away with should you find that it is not what you expected. Do you understand that? To work with love in this way is to play with a certain darker magic. This is important to understand. But if this is truly what you wish, you have come to the right place. You have sought out the right witch. For my magic is hardly all light and white and good and pure. No, I deal in darker magic. But understand, there may be consequences to what you wish. As they say, dearie, be careful what you wish for. Now, tell me a bit more of this love that you seek. Whose heart is it that you wish to claim as your own? Ah, you do love this person very much. I can see that. I hear it in your voice. I see it in your eyes. Your eyes say so much to me, dearie. Well, I can do this thing that you ask. I can give you what you seek. If you are willing to take that chance, to risk any possible consequence, do you want it that badly? Is it all that your heart desires? Mm -hmm. I thought so. Oh yes, yes. There will be payment involved. I will ask for something in return. But that's not important right now. No. No, let's get started. We'll talk of silly things like payment later. Who has time for these things right now? Isn't that right, dearie? All right, come sit down here at my table with me. And we shall speak. What I can do for you is to brew a potion. It is a strong potion. A lovesick brew that will bring you exactly what you want. Exactly what you need. What you must do with this potion is to slip it into the drink of the one you desire. Their first taste will make them see you in a new way, with new interest. They won't understand why they are suddenly looking at you differently, 
but they will not be able to resist staring into your eyes and feeling a new curiosity about your heart. Another drink, and suddenly they'll find a new fondness for you. They'll want to move a little closer. By the time they finish their drink, they will be completely and totally in love with you. Devoted, fascinated, charmed. Your every word, every glance, every movement will intoxicate them. This is not a love that will fade in time. It will only intensify. But you live for this person, yes, you love them. And you want them to feel the same about you. Isn't that right, dearie? Oh, yes. Yes, I understand. Very well. You stay here, and I shall begin the spell. Let us start by lighting three candles. One pink for true love. One red for the more lustful aspects. And one black for there is nothing light or pure about the magic we are about to do. You do understand that you seek to control someone else's emotions. You are taking away their free will. And I have told you there will be consequences to this. Oh, I know, I know, I just want to warn you. I want to make sure you understand there are always consequences. Shall we go on? All right, we will light the candles. One. Two. Three. There. Now, you concentrate on the candle flames while I brew the potion for you. Let me gather the ingredients. I know this spell well. I have performed it many a time for poor unfortunate souls like yourself. Oh yes, it works. It works every time. I have never failed with this spell. Let me see now. The spell requires Oh, yes, Eye of Newt, of course, good old Eye of Newt. And we shall need three toes of a frog. The whiskers of a pure black cat. Four feathers of a raven. The wings of one lunar moth. And finally, a single beating heart. Oh no, you don't want to know where I procured this heart or why it is still beating. There are some things in magic better left to those of us who truly understand its nature. Into the cauldron these things go one by one. And we top that off with a generous pour of rose water made from black roses from my garden. Did you see them as you approached? Oh, yes. They grow lovely and wild here, I think. So useful for spells like this.
Now, I shall begin to mix it together. It's coming along nicely. The black rose water is coming to a boil. And our ingredients are beginning to dissolve into magic. You came on the perfect evening for this spell, too. The night before the full moon. Because that means that on the night of the full moon, tomorrow night, you can complete the spell by slipping this into your beloved's drink. The full moon will make the magic ten times stronger. Oh yes, this will be a potent spell indeed. Now, come over here. Come, come closer. Breathe in the vapors coming up from the spell. Can you feel the power of the magic, even as it fills your lungs? Oh, and while you're here, whoops, <laughs> yes, there was one last ingredient, <laughs> the hairs from the top of your head. Sorry about that. Did I surprise you? <laughs> oh, and into the pot they go. This is a potent magic indeed. Oh, yes, dear. This will win you exactly what you wish for. The heart of your beloved will be yours to hold. And now, let me just bottle this up for you. Oh, yes, it's a small bottle. It only takes a small amount of this spell, of this potion. For your wish to be granted. And no, no, now that the potion is ready, there is no scent to it, no taste. It is completely undetectable. No matter what kind of drink you slip it into, I would suggest a glass of good red wine, but that's just my personal preference. There you are, dearie. Let me extinguish the candles. And the spell is ready. My part is complete. It's all up to you now. Tomorrow night, seek out your beloved. Slip this potion into their drink. And watch as they fall hopelessly, completely, forever in love with you. Oh, yes. I did mention something about payment, didn't I? Well, I'll tell you what. I like you. This one's a freebie. Oh, no, no, I insist. I know it's very generous, but I also know that once this spell takes hold, you will be coming back to me. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Oh, dearie, you'll see. You'll see. You now have 24 hours in which to think about whether this is truly something you wish to do. You can still decide to let fate take its course, to let your beloved's will remain intact. If you do that, simply dispose 
of the potion, and all hint of this spell will be erased. I will understand. But should you go through with this, well, <laughs> I wish you good luck, dearie. I wish you all the luck in the world. Go on now, take your potion, and your leave. Goodbye. Oh yes, oh yes, I do believe I'll be seeing you again soon.